let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! CBI 1000 fucking double R. They're looking sick or what? Looking nice and clean. Just washed it last night. But anyways, some of you guys that want to get in a motorcycling, but you don't have the money to get a sick bike like this. And you wouldn't want to start on a bike like this anyhow. It's too powerful for a new rider. Unless you've ridden motorcycles in the past. But anyways, a lot of you guys say, Cycle Cruiser, man, I'm poor as fuck. I'm so poor. I'm po. I can't even afford the OR. I'm poor. I'm so fucking poor. Cycle Cruiser, my budget, $1,000. What can I get for $1,000 or less? What can I do? Should I? I don't want to get a Chinese motorcycle because I don't want to be fixing. I want to be riding. Let me tell you this, guys. That, uh, you know, you can get a decent motorcycle for a thousand dollars or less. And I'm going to talk about it in this video. For those of you that are on a severe budget. Got a lot of kids to feed. Got a baby mama to take care of. Just a lot of expenses. In debt up to the hilt. Right now I'm plugging in my heated gloves that I absolutely love. By the way, if you want to get a pair yourself, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video, along with my other gear, or just go to my website, CycleCruiser.com, and click on My Gear on the menu tab, and that's a listing of all my gear, but uh, these babies keep them nice and warm, especially on a cold winter day like this, man. It's like 40 degrees out here. But, $1,000, what can you get? Which, you know... I got on uh, Cycle Trader. That's a great place to look for motorcycles. Woo! Holy shit! Instant adrenaline rush. Ah, I love this bike. But uh, yeah, I looked on Cycle Trader. Freaking a thousand dollar budget. And I found a few bikes on there, man, that can be had for super cheap, $1,000 or less. First one that caught my eye is a 1979 Honda CM400, I think CM400A, A is an ass, <laughs> Honda Matic. Yeah, the same motorcycle or a similar motorcycle that Prince rode in Purple Rain. Because he was too much of a pussy to ride a bike that had a manual but that's okay because for new riders that's okay to start on an automatic bike that's actually a good thing to start on an automatic bike because that way you don't have to worry about shifting gears and you can get acclimated to riding on two wheels by the way I'm just fucking around and joking about the pussy part nothing wrong with uh, automatic motorcycles but anyways yeah $495 for that Honda Matic. There you go right there, baby. 500 bucks and you got $500 a spare for gear. The next bike that I saw in there was a 1973 Yamaha TX750A. A is an ass. <laughs> an ass old bike. But that bike can be had for I think it was four a thousand bucks nine hundred ninety nine dollars either that or five hundred bucks one or the other then another bike on there was a, uh, a 86 Kawasaki ZG 1200 a a is an ass <laughs> asshole bike another asshole bike and uh, but still probably possibly a good bike and they wanted, I think it was like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks for that too. And there's a 2011 CBR 250 fucking R, the same bike that I had. And I love that bike. It was a good little bike. And that bike, a thousand dollars. But the front's all fucked up. But you know what? You can turn it into a Street Fighter, man. 
You can put like an aftermarket, make it look badass. Put like an old school aftermarket or whatever, new school headlight on the front or something and just, as long as the bike's running and it's, it's running good, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, man. It's cool riding ugly bikes out here, make you look badass, man, you know? Don't worry about the way you look out here, what kind of motorcycle you got, as long as you're riding. That's all that matters, man. Nothing else matters. All else is bullshit. But I'll tell you, I'll give you some other tips that you can get, you know, a bike really cheap for like $1,000 or less. There's a place called Racer's Edge in Cincinnati, Ohio. And they deal with a lot of salvage bikes and, and bikes that people uh, trade in. And they sell them for really cheap. They have a high turnover rate of motorcycles. I mean, as soon as they get in, a lot of times they, they're out the door because they're such good deals and I think a salvage bike is a good deal to get started on is because uh, you know for a thousand dollars you drop the bike or fuck it up you're not gonna be hurting you're not gonna be you know kicking yourself in the ass in my opinion you shouldn't start on a new bike you know a brand new bike you know unless you plan on keeping it like the WR250R but yeah, that you know, they, you can get some really sick deals there. A Racer's Edge, go check. I think it's like Racer's Edge 411 or something like that. Their website, and they have like a big list of all the mo you know different bikes they get in, and they sell really cheap. Um, I saw some really sick deals on there, but they go fast, man. And uh, another deal is is off of Craigslist. You know, a lot of times you see some bikes on there, um, maybe some older bikes, maybe that you might like. And maybe if they have it listed, the price listed as like a thousand, you know, have listed as like maybe two or three thousand dollars, you know, show up at the door with a thousand dollars cash. Be like, hey man, this is all I got. You want to take it or not? Believe me, there's a lot of people out there strapped. It will take a fucking thousand dollars in a heartbeat because they're, you know, they, they're hard up for money. So there's some deals to be had. Cash is king. If you got cash, you know, a lot of people. Well, you know, you can get some really sick deals, you know, and paying with cash. So there's a lot of motorcycles out there to be had for $1,000. But I'll tell you, don't, in my opinion, don't don't get you a Chinese motorcycle, whatever you do, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, unless you plan on fixing a lot, don't fuck with it, man. Because most of the time, most of the time, uh, you know, the Chinese motorcycles are really just knockoffs. But a lot of times they can use cheap materials. Uh, they're just not as reliable as the Japanese bikes. But there's a lot, so many old Japanese bikes on the market that are still reliable. And I mean, they can still run pretty good. Uh, and can be had for like dirt cheap. I'd rather you get an old ass Japanese bike that's in pretty good condition than to get a brand new Chinese cheap motorcycle, to be honest with you. I've learned my lesson. As you guys know, I had the fucking, I had the Chinese scooter. Had that bitch delivered to the door for like $1,200. And I, I had two of them actually. Uh, and both of them, I couldn't get past, I, I don't think I made it past a thousand miles with those scooters. Mainly because I didn't do a, uh, a valve adjustment right off the box. Right out, as soon as I got out of the box, I should have did a, uh, a valve adjustment. Um, it, a lot of times, you know, I've, I've seen people get like 10,000 miles out of a Chinese scooter, you know, but you, you have to do, you have to do, you have to stay on top of those bikes, maintenance wise, and, and keep checking those valves every now and then. But I, in my opinion, just stay away from them, man. Just get you an older Japanese bike, but, you know, there's no excuse for none of you not to get a motorcycle. There's, there's sick deals out there to be had. Shit, some people even give away their motorcycles for free, man. And, uh, I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. And if you want to ride a motorcycle, I don't care how poor you are, you can get one. You may not have to be able to get a nice CBR 1000 fucking double R like I have to blast through traffic. But, I tell you, I had a lot of fun even on that Chinese scooter and my CBR 250R. And as you guys know, I have a WR 250 fucking R that I absolutely fucking love. And I tell you, the dual sport is where it's at, man. 
for everybody i think everybody should have a dual sport it's the ultimate bug out motorcycle cheap insurance cheap to own just fucking awesome bikes fantastic as a second bike a main bike whatever if i can only keep one motorcycle it'll be the dual sport i'll tell you that that right now guys because it sucks being limited to only riding the street i have way more fun off road man yeah it's fun twisting the throttle going fast on this bike but that's all you can do man and you know in the twisties having fun riding in the twisties and all but that's all you can do there ain't nothing i mean you can't go off road do fucking jump logs fucking ride technical trails ride up steep hills you know not have to worry about cops fucking with you do wheelies all fucking day off road but uh on the street it's just as one dimensional riding man it's fun don't get me wrong but it's one dimensional riding but some people you know like that they don't some people just don't like dealing with off-road and that that's fine to each his own i'm not here to knock on anybody that uh, everybody has their own preferences but hey guys i'm getting ready to go in the mall do a little shopping here get some good deals on some shit but if you want to see more of my videos go to my website psychocruiser.com click on the menu tab my videos all my videos are categorized in the various playlists Hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends and let them know there's no excuses for not ride getting a motorcycle. They can be had at all price ranges, dirt cheap. Like I said, sometimes even free. But hey guys, subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. I appreciate all you guys. Hey, let me park in here and go get, get me something, man. But I appreciate all you guys. So take care. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuce. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original Bug Out Moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash Bug Out Moto. Subscribe today.